Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. It is Friday, happy start of the weekend. I hope you're all doing well in this energy we have going on. Um, so I'm here with you today to do a collective reading and we'll be using the usual cards. Um, I'm going to start out with Sacred Traveler today. And um, before I get started, I just want to throw out a reminder that um, this is a collective reading. So when you're watching it, you know, be careful. Don't assume that all of these energies are for you. However, um, different parts in the reading could be for you, right? There's always a message in a reading. Um, but I don't want to give anybody false hope or anything like that because we're all on different timelines and in different situations. And you really have to know the energies you're dealing with in, on your path and where you're at on that and where you might be in relationships and uh, work and things like that, the things that come out in the reading. So, you know, just a reminder to be careful and use your own discernment as you're watching these videos, okay? All right, and with that said, I thank you for being here. And we'll see what comes out. I've already said my prayers and called in my spirit guides. Okay, spirit, what do we have for today? What's going on? Beautiful day here in the Northeast. What else can we show the collective, please, spirit? For today, Friday. Okay, bottom of the deck is Desert Passage. Trust there's a divine plan. So this is a message to spirit. Um, that you have to trust, right? Know that there's a divine plan for you, that um, it's all gonna unfold for you in the perfect time for you. Um, so this is just a reminder. Uh, trust has been um, a big issue in all the readings I've been doing, whether it's in my angel readings, my personal readings, or in these collective readings here, the Daily Tarot trust is coming up and as I'm watching other people's videos um, they're also seeing um, a great push for trust in spirit trust in the universe to bring your dreams to you okay so you've got to keep the faith got to keep the trust and that was the title of yesterday's video so keep the faith trust in your intuition your dreams what you've been manifesting trust there's a divine plan for you Okay, so we had four cards come out. Um, the first one that came out is Watching Clouds, Lie Back, Rest, and Relax. So this is an energy of self-care, right? Just relax your mind, relax your energy. Take some time this weekend to really retreat, um, restart yourself, like, right? Like we're going into this really fast energy now that's coming down the pike and take that time to re-energize yourself be alone think um, meditate journal all of those kinds of things take a nice bath go for a walk what whatever you do that helps you relax and calm down exercising okay um, do some fall cleaning um, you know change your energetic energy around you um, so even um, getting your house ready for the holidays that's going to be my focus this weekend it's going to be raining on Saturday so I'm just going to buckle down here and get going today we're using this nice day to get all the deck furniture finally put away off the um, off the deck and down into the basement the cellar so yeah it's a it's a good day to do it right we won't freeze out there and 
Um, it's also just changing the energy up, right? Getting ready for another season to come in, being ready for winter before we're surprised by it. But relax too, right? Okay, next we have um, the wondrous universe and walk in beauty. Um, know that you're beautiful. Know that the world is beautiful. Know that the world has plenty of beauty in it for everyone. Observe the wondrous emerge in your life. Um, be grateful for the things you see unfolding in your life. Um, see the bigger picture in your life. Be the bigger person in your life. But there's a wondrous world out there. And walk in beauty in it. Be a beautiful person in it. Next we have discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. So you may have been gaining some knowledge um, recently that's helped you be in your truth. You may be healing and stepping into more truth and discovering more truth along your path. And this could just be epiphanies you've been having about who you are um, and stepping into your authentic self, right? And that's the truth. Your authentic self is the truth of you and who you are. So, um, and there may, may have been more, you may have gained more um, information from the universe that's helped you stand in your truth. But you're finally seeing the truth in your situation and that's really good for you and your situation. And first light, you're beginning a new cycle. Um, well, we saw yesterday some um, energy like that, right? We saw the in yesterday's reading, we had the um, world with the fool come out, right? So we know someone is starting um, on a new journey, first light. So we'll see what comes out in our cards today, right? So that's some really beautiful energy there, y'all. Really nice energy for our reading today. Okay. Spirit, what can you show me for the collective today? What do they need to know on their journey? be one of those days when the cards flip right inside the deck. Whew. Feeling a very peaceful energy today. Not a lot of intensity to it. So far anyways, we'll see what happens. of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So that's what we have there. Right in the center of the spread we have Archangel Michael and he's here helping us all stay patient and balanced in this energy, right? Um, that we just keep going on our, our own path, right? As we're waiting for this divine timing to kick in and the divine plan to fully um, roll out for us, right? So stay patient, keep um, focused on what you have to do day by day, action by action. Just keep going, keep moving in the energy. 
Okay, quick look here. We have one, two, just two major arcana cards here. Alrighty, we're gonna start. We've got the Eight of Pentacles going into the, oh, what did we get? The Six of Swords. To the nine of cups so somebody is this is eight of pentacles is work right somebody's hard at work the six of swords is an energy of um, moving away from something so maybe somebody here is leaving a job behind to go towards happiness that's how it's laid out on the deck on the table rather um, you're seeing it reversed, but this boat is headed towards happiness um, with the Nine of Cups. Um, or this person is moving into happiness with their work. Okay, so it's something, um, some move around work that will be happening that's going to bring happiness in like a wish come true about work somebody's working moving away towards happiness there okay then we have seven of pentacles into our patience and the moon energy and again excuse my puppy torn card <laughs> The moon is here, so um, we're with the Seven of Pentacles, right? This is someone who has worked hard. They have amassed some pentacles in their life, and they're just um, contemplating what to do with it all. Um, there's some patience associated here, right? Patience and balance that the angels are bringing in. And then we have the moon. And the moon is um, what we don't see, what we don't know. Um, the moon is um, our emotions and um, how we're feeling about a situation. So this is the unknown piece of things. And we have to get comfortable with the unknown, right? We have to, um, you know, you don't worry about what you don't know yet and just keep going, keep moving on in your path, doing your hard work, okay? In the bottom, we have the Six of Cups energy into the Three of Swords. So this is a, a healing, right? Six of Swords is a past energy. This could be a past life energy for you. And with the Three of Swords, um, this is an energy of heartbreak, right? A broken heart. And um, when it shows up here in connection with a past, it could be that this heart is healing, you know, things from the past. And um, we don't have the Four of Swords here yet. That would show that the heart is really healed. But right now, this person could be in some art active heartbreak and then we go in the the last card in the row and we have the ten of wands so this person may be ready to drop the heartache or has actively dropped the heartache relative to things in the past and then we have um, an extra card that fell out um, the nine of pentacles energy and this is somebody who is single and available and comfortable being on their own they have um, self-confidence they're um, you know, they're prideful, they're um, doing their thing, they're out in the world doing their thing, and um, so this is what we have going on here, dropping this um, broken heart energy is what I'm, I'm getting here. Okay, let's uh, take the light series and we'll see what we come up with here, folks. 
I know it's frustrating, right? Like if you've been waiting a long time for your manifestations to come in, I mean, I can relate with that energy, right? Like I've been waiting a long time here too um, for my divine um, masculine to show up. So I understand where you're all at. And, um, you know, it's hard. I'm trying to stay hopeful and positive. I know this is going to happen for us. And it's just a matter of time. And I want you all to feel that way too. No matter how long or difficult your thing has been. And if you're on um, in a spiritual relationship like this, you know your story. And you'll know if it's true for you, right? Oh, all right. Spirit, can you tell me about the Eight of Pentacles? That's an Ace of Wands. So somebody has some great passionate energy around the work they're doing. What else about the Eight of Pentacles? being strong. Anything else for the Eight of Pentacles? Okay, now tell me about the Six of Swords, please, Spirit. Six of Swords is the chariot. So that tells me that we're moving away from some Eight of Pentacles situation. For sure, that's two energies of moving on. Moving forward, balanced. What else about the Six of Swords? <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles. So somebody is moving away from a work situation. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Cups is the Nine of Wands. What else about the Nine of Cups? Seven of Wands. Okay, let's run through this. Um, so we have the Eight of Pen. Oops. We have the Eight of Pentacles energy, right? This is hard work. We had the Ace of Swords come out, and this is um, passionate, energetic, um, creative, um, desire um, kind of energy, um, probably about the work someone's doing, and they're staying strong in a situation. Um, so that's how I, I read it here. And then we go into the next um, card, and we have the Six of Swords. And this is an energy of moving away, leaving something behind. And when this comes after the Eight of Pentacles, that tells me that somebody's moving away from work. And then we have a um, chariot. So this is two um, forward-moving energies that we're leaving something behind and this could be a work situation to go towards our passions and we're being um, um, strong about it and then we have another ace of pentacles so this may be leaving one type of work to go towards another type of work another type of passion another type of creative energy Moving forward, moving on to our Nine of Cups. We're in process. We're taking what we like about our work and we're going forward in a balanced way to our Nine of Cups. We're being strong and we're taking our passion with us. Okay. 
And then we get to the Nine of Cups energy. And this is a wish come true, right? And we have somebody holding their ground, believing in their wish, right? So just like I was saying to you, I believe that things are going to happen for me. I believe it in all my soul and my heart. Um, my intuition, I believe that it's going to happen and I'm standing my ground on that. I'm holding firm on that and you may be in that same position. Um, it's somewhat of a guarded energy, right? Um, and then we have the seven of wands and I would say with the two of these here, who, whoever you are, you're feeling extra protective, right? You might be hiding yourself away a little bit too much. And Spirit is saying, um, you know, it might be time to drop some of this if you really want to get to here. Okay, don't be so guarded in your life is what I'm getting. Okay, so that's our first row. Now let's go into the middle. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit. the nine of swords so somebody in some heavy energy there and then the five of pentacles Ooh. anything else for the seven of pentacles about temperance the wheel of fortune anything else for temperance About the moon spirit, please. Page of Cups. What else? Tell me about the moon, please, spirit. run through the middle row. So our seven of pentacles energy came up with the nine of swords, right? And this is just worry. <laughs> this is extreme worry that could be affecting rest and energy levels and things like that. And then we have the five of pentacles and this is a feeling of, um, oh, feeling left out of a situation being worried about pentacles in some way, perhaps. Feeling forgotten or isolated. Um, marginal. And just feeling real worry here about something. And it's a worry around pentacles. And with so much, um, with 
two um, eight of pentacles come out i wonder if somebody's having concerns about leaving a job and how it will affect them if they leave it what will that mean for their abundance so if in your situation someone has to leave a job to come towards you that could be a consideration for them then in the center car in the center on um on temperance we had the wheel of fortune come out remember we had um in the opening energies that first light and then we have the king of pentacles so this king of pentacles is thinking about making a change in their life and maybe it's around work and making a change in work and um, he's concerned about maybe money and livelihood and how he'll get along if he leaves this work situation. And then we have the moon energy, and this is hidden energy that we don't know. And it could be someone dealing with emotions too. We have the page of cups, and this is a love offer. And then we have seven of pentacles, so this person may be manifesting a love offer and then we have devil energies and this is clearly some kind of worry or fear that's going on in this king of pentacles and then we have the sun which is illumination so this person is going to come into some kind of um you know like this is a yes card this is happiness um, but it also lights up the dark and the moon is dark right but the, this is also feminine and masculine energies again, um, as we saw in yesterday's reading, right? So there's the fear of the, making this offer, maybe. Um, a fear of making the decision to actually make the jump. Um, when to, you know, step into that fool energy. When's the right time, right? Okay, now we'll go into the bottom row. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. That's the Seven of Cups and the decision. What else about the Six of Cups, Spirit? That's the Ten of Cups. So this person sees the happiness in the past and he wants to make a good decision about his happiness with the choices he has available to him right now. Okay, tell me about the Three of Swords, please, Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Three of Swords is the Hanged Man with the King of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, that's the Five of Swords, up in the head. What else about the Ten of Wands? Death and Rebirth. Ooh. Anything else about the Ten of Wands? Ten of Wands is the Four of Wands, and the Three of Wands came out again. So that's what we're, it's death to the heartache and the worry, and the rebirth with the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles person. It's the Ace of Wands truth and that's the page of swords spying energy six of pentacles
Okay, that's all we're gonna get. Um, the bottom of this deck as I'm done shuffling it, the moon is at the bottom. So that's just reaffirming that we don't know what's gonna happen here. So for our uh, Six of Cups, our energy of the past, we have Seven of Cups, somebody with options and trying to make a good decision about what they do. And they want to move towards their happiness in the decision. They want to make the right choice for them. Then we have the Heartbreak and we have a King of Swords. In the hanged man, um, figuring out what they're going to do about this heartache, what action they're going to take, and bringing the truth, looking at the truth of a situation over this heartache. Then on the Ten of Wands, the burden that I'll be putting down is the confusion and worry and fears about this heartache. Um, maybe this love offer that he wants to make, like we see with the um, the moon energy, right? That um, page of cups energy. And then we have death and rebirth. So we're letting go of this energy, this, this worry energy, this um, heartbreak energy. We're, we're letting it go. And we're just going on to our happiness and our stability in life, right? So, um, this is what we have today going on here. So this person is in a, has been in a death and rebirth energy, right? It's, you know, it's like when you're healing, just like with, um, grieving, right? It's not something that happens with the snap of a fingers. It's a process you go through. It takes time um, to make it happen. And um, so this person has been in a, a long, long death and rebirth energy. But they're going on to their happiness and their stability in life, um, their foundations. You know, they wanna get to that castle in the sky. And then for our um, single and available person, we have the Ace of Wands, right? And this is a reminder that you stand in truth. This is you, you're in the truth of the situation, you're in your truth. And then we have the Page of Swords, and this you may have um, a little bit of spying energy going on, or, or they do, maybe they're coming into the truth now. Maybe that's the rebirth, the, the truth of the situation that they're getting to. Maybe they're standing in the light of truth finally. And then we see the Six of Pentacles. And that's um, reciprocal, right? It's reciprocal energy equal giving and taking and sharing. So this um, single person may be a very generous kind of person with their energy. Um, so that's that's our reading today, right? So I think the message here is trust that there's a divine plan for you. It looks like you're coming in for some type of success or something around work is happening here for somebody. So maybe somebody's leaving a job to go to another job. Um, maybe somebody is just... Um, leaving a job behind, pursuing a new one, and actively in a balanced way, moving um, forward. You know, this energy up in the first row. This here into the, the Nine of Cups, right? This is really an energy of a person leaving one work situation to go to another situation that's bringing them happiness right? They're stepping into, um, they're doing something that is passionate for them and they're leaving behind this past work situation and they're going towards their happiness with the nine of cups, their wish come true. Okay.
So that could be you or a partner. And then we have this um, right in the middle with temperance, this wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles, right? At some point, this king of pentacles is going to make a move. But right now, he's still in the hangman. So this is right down the middle, right? This is the middle and this is underneath it. So he's handling his heart heartbreak. And it looks like here the outcome, right, is this here. So let's go back to um, our original date deck and we'll do a spirit. Can you wrap up this reading for me? What's the takeaway, please? when I stop shuffling ace of pentacles all right so this is our outcome for today we had the um, nine of wands and this is an energy that we have up front there in the first row and then we have the emperor so this is our emperor in this guarded protected energy um, then we have the king of cups and this would be an energy of the um, Emperor, right? Um, and this King of Cups is, um, would be the person that makes the love offer, right? This is the love energy of the Emperor. This could also indicate like a, sometimes the King of Cups can be like a spiritual energy that's helping our Emperor. And then we have the Seven of Wands. And this is an energy of someone who is, you know, this emperor may have been, is, is trying to leave a situation behind. He's trying to get away from it. He's trying to move away from it. We see that with the chariot, with the Six of Swords. He's trying to get away from um, this work situation is what I'm taking this for this it's just way too obvious this would be the third energy indicating moving away from something related to work and the way we are in our pentacles he's moving away from it and um he's got some decisions to make and that's why he's in the hanged man so if that's an energy you're in where your divine masculine has to leave work or some type of situation behind he's in the decision you know he's he's here right and right this would be the runner energy right so this could be a a male or a female that's in that you're waiting for right like we're not all waiting for a divine masculine some of us could be waiting for a divine feminine and there may be, um, you know, someone here is leaving work behind in there, up in their head about it. And the truth is coming in here. The truth about this love situation. And three of swords, you can have a heartbreak over work just as easily as you can over um, a relationship and I know that factually. <laughs> so, all right, 
Let's get our sacred forest out. I was feeling these, uh, this deck so strongly today, like there's a, an important message in here for us today. Spirit guys, what can you tell us about this reading today, the energies that are here? Well, can you see the, the cards tense right up? Look at that. Yeah, you can feel the, um, the, uh, the stressful energy of this decision that this person is making. You can feel that they're stressed about it. Well, we can see it in the cards, right? Five of swords, nine of swords, the devil energy. Okay, enlightenment comes out. And that's what this person is going through, enlightenment. And again, that's not a fast energy. I knew I felt something special in this energy today. Bottom of the deck, miracles. Took a few cards off the. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we had the energy of Forest Temple and Enlightenment. And this is a. Um, this is a divine energy, right? This is um, a spiritual ascension that this person has been going through. Um, you know, we see this strong. Um, so I, I know I'm right on with this King of Cups energy being a spiritual guide of some kind that is helping our emperor here. Okay. Um, then we have standing stones and this is that um this is first light going through this passageway right getting to the final step of the enlightenment for this person that first light energy and walk in beauty walk in the wonderness Right, and then um, eagle spirit with freedom. I didn't have an eagle sighting today, but freedom, uh, freedom and peace of mind, freedom of spirit, freedom of energy to be walking away from this intense heartache loss, to be making this situation that's going to move you into a wish come true in the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. The freedom in that, the freedom, how free it feels when you let go of these burdens in your life. And then the next energy we have is love, right? Um, love conquers all. Love conquers fear. Love conquers angry, anger. Love is amazing energy. And we all have its capacity in us. Open yourself to receive love, okay? Open your heart. It will help you make these decisions in your life. And then we have the energy of miracles. Okay, miracles. Rainbow waterfall. Expect a miracle. And it's probably going to come for this person and their ability to get past this. And how beautiful is that? And then we had air spirit with knowledge. And, you know, air spirit is the ace of swords, right? This person is, is getting knowledge in this hanged man state. And that's, it's going to generate a miracle. 
and maybe him coming forward. That some sort of miracle will be happening out of this whole thing, out of this whole situation. Wow, I knew I felt this. I knew I felt it. Something special in here today. Wow, folks. Okay, um, that's the reading for today. So let's give you a takeaway. You've got to stay. You've got to believe in this energy. And I said this to you yesterday, but you have to trust right now. It's more important than ever. And if you're in a divine spiritual relationship, your partner can feel your energy. They can feel your doubt. And you have to know that this is going to happen for you, that this energy is coming for you, right? Send healing and loving vibrations to each other, okay? Um, that will help this come in faster for you. But in the meantime, continue on your path. Stay focused on what you have to do. Be ready. Make space in your life for this new energy, for this love coming towards you. Okay? Like I mentioned in the beginning of the reading, right? Get your home ready. Get yourself ready. Take some time to rest and reflect this weekend. Get your mind in the right space. Get your heart in the right space to receive this. Clear out any cobwebs and thinking that you need to work through, okay? Because you've got some... You've got a miracle coming in. Okay. Miracles. All right. That's our reading for today. I hope you all have a great weekend. <laughs> I hope something amazing will happen for somebody here. Somebody has a beautiful reading, right? Um, hopefully it's more than one of us. You never know, right? You just don't know. Um, all right, so have a good weekend. And um, do keep an eye out for the All Signs reading on Sunday. I am going to try to get that up super duper early. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have any technology problems. Um, and thank you for supporting the channel. It's really a pleasure to have you here with us. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone.